historic. Justin Werner with Lincoln City Homepage. I'm here with Doug Bradstreet, owner of the prehistoric. And uh, Doug, what's your favorite thing in this shop? Well, everything in this shop is pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> yeah, I've been I agree. collecting it for uh, almost 25 years now. So, you know, one of the cool things is, of course, our sculptures that uh, we're standing in front of. This is a, a Jim Valona original. He's a good buddy of mine out of Colorado. Six months every day of all hand cutting, hammering, texturing, and coloring. Wow. So six months just That's to make this one piece. Amazing. This geode in here is 350 pounds. How old is it? Uh, the geode itself is millions of years old. It's out of Brazil and it's, uh, it's amethyst. It wasn't just a matter of building a shark, it was a matter of the physics of keeping a 350 pound geode suspended without any danger of it toppling over. So it's wow. pretty amazing. And along with that, we made a little baby. What's amazing is it's a baby. You've got the whole head, you've got the whole spine, you've got some parts of the flippers, and also within, you've got brachiopod fossils and ammonite fossils. So these were a squid-like critter that the plesiosaur would eat. And those are still within it. Whether they were in the belly, or whether they just happened to be in the sediment is hard to tell. Probably the best one I've ever seen in, in my collecting years. It's almost 34 inches long. And if you look at the lines on this brow horn, that's actually skin impression. That's where the skin attached to the, the bone of the horn. Now, 90% of these horns have no tip. This one has the full original tip, and you can see that because the skin impression goes all the way through. You actually also see the bone marrow within that form. Pretty remarkable. Very few museums have them this good. It's amazing, man. Yeah, thank you. This is the kind of business that you really have to know everything there is to know about fossils and minerals and meteorites. And you have to have the information and the knowledge. I've done a lot of the digs on a lot of the things that you see in the gallery. I've uh, created partnerships with uh, different quarries, with prep labs throughout the world. So, you know, we get the rarest, we get the best. And the beauty is, you come into my store, you can touch it. Go to a museum. <laughs> Try to touch it. They won't let you touch it. So here we allow touching. We want people to feel it, be a part of it. Um, and the other thing is 99% of the things I have here is authentic. A lot of people go, oh, it can't be real, it can't be real. Well, 99% of this stuff is the real deal. Most museums are showing you cast. They're showing you replicas. Because most museums have to purchase the product just as we do. So for that reason, the museums tend to be a lot darker. They don't allow you to touch. And a lot of it's just not real. Those trilobites are really exciting because this was the first creature that had sophisticated eyes. This was the first creature that could actually see the Earth. A lot of them very alien-like with spines coming off their back. Uh, sometimes the eyes would have stalks, so the eyes would stick out of the sand in the water. And wow. these guys are a direct descendant of the horseshoe crab. The most impressive baby mammoth teeth you'll ever see. It has every part of the root. As you can see, it has the original root, which normally is broken off of teeth. And this would be an adult tooth, just to show you the difference in the size. Holy cow. Yeah, this Zoom one out. still has a lot of its roots as well, but you can see the depth of these roots. This would have been within the jaw itself, and it would have been the entire root. Extremely rare, very, very cool to see. So this shark had an average length of 50 to 60 feet, and it had, it would go through almost a thousand of these teeth in its lifetime. Fully serrated, so this will actually still cut through you today. Wow. And they range uh, 15 to 20 million years old. <laughs> and they had teeth that range from one inch for a back tooth bottom jaw, all the way to almost eight inches for a front tooth top jaw. 50 to 60 foot in length, with an open jaw, we could have you, me, several of our friends standing inside the jaw while it's open. We still have room. <laughs> Huge. This is a crinoid. A uh, crinoid, uh, actually it's called a sea lily, but it is everything but a flower. This is actually an animal. This is a carnivorous animal. And uh, he would eat fish and other small organisms. The head or the calyx of the fossil is here. The neck all the way, and then this block that you see is driftwood. 
and that has basically turned to coal at this point. Wow. These animals would colonize around a piece of driftwood or a rock, and they would actually float. So this piece is shown upside down. It would be hanging with the head down. A geode is a rock that starts in the center of the earth as a gas bubble. And as that gas bubble moves higher in the surface, it starts to form a crust on it. That crust is called basalt, volcanic basalt. What happens is, as that bubble continues to move higher, eventually a crack opens up, moisture seeps in, and then crystals begin to grow. What we're going to do is we're going to use this machine that we've designed and made ourselves, and it creates pressure that causes the rock to pop in half. So why don't you grab onto the steering wheel. There you go. And just keep turning. You can use both hands. There you go. And slowly creating pressure, and then the rock will pop in half. Keep going. You're almost there. <laughs> there you go. You did it. You want to see what that rock looks like inside? Yeah. Look at that. Wow. You see what that is? Yeah. That's cool. Those are all wow. natural crystals. You're going to get to keep that, okay? Oh, cool. Look at that, baby. So you're the first person to get to see those crystals in there. That's so cool. Now, how old are those? He's Millions of years. Millions of years. Yeah. That's going to be yours to take home, okay? So you get that. This is the uh, geode with the volcanic basalt. And when you break it open, Loaded with crystals. Cool. So, where'd you get this steering wheel? <laughs> this is my old Corvette, my 1977 Corvette. When I redid it, they don't just wrap the wheel anymore, they give you a new one. So, we repurposed it.